video for you. Um, I'm inside the trailer. I have the air conditioning going. You have central air. Um, your heater is a gas propane um, unit on the floor. And you have your temperature control here in the kitchen area. Um, right when you walk in the door on the right hand side, I have a 20 inch flat screen TV with a built in antenna. It's on like a roller thing, so when you're going down the road, you can see how this goes. You just push the TV in like that, and then there's a roller. It's like a roller desk right here, and it goes right in front of the TV. So you can do that 20 inch flat. Um, you have a huge closet space up here. You have on either side of the foot of the bed, you have a huge closet here hanging, huge closet here. Then you have two closets one like right next to the bed and then you have two more closets at the end of the bed and then one above the bed and one below so you have like huge closet space just from there the step is also a boot box so you have your boot box and your vacuum cleaner there you also have another huge closet here um, sometimes I keep my vet supplies here, but you have another huge hanging closet, plus two drawers, and another closet on this side um, here. That was my awning thing, polar outer thing there. Um, you have outside speakers, two outside speakers. There's your hot water heater. Um, it has a stereo CD player. Um, dishes, plates, can go up there, or food, and those. There's your control center where you have all of your, um, like your water pump, all that good stuff. Microwave oven, and then you have a, um, your cooktop is actually underneath. There's like a, it's a flip up two burner cooktop, so you don't have to give any counter space. I'll try and back up, but you have like a solid flat counter but then you can lift up your, there's your cooktop there. All the walls and everything are like genuine leather, kind of a padded thing. Um, double sink, more cabinet space here for dishes and all that good stuff. Uh, the trailer is 34 feet long and it's got a 14 foot short wall. You have privacy, you can open up the shades and you have privacy shades there. It has a chocolate brown couch, but I keep it covered. Um, on that one side down there, there's a little bit of the outer part of the couch that the paint has kind of come off because of the sun beating down on it. So I just keep it covered. You have like a spice rack that pulls out. I don't know if you can see that, but the spice rack pulls completely out from the wall, just like that. You have a dual, you have a big freezer. Um, big regular size freezer, big fridge, um, all that good stuff. In the bathroom, we have a separate sink, separate bath cabinets, stuff like that. Hat rack, a huge circular walk-in shower, it's like a huge shower. Um, separate toilet from the shower. You've got a whole nother a uh, big closet in the back for the shower. And then you have the walk-through door that goes to your um, horse compartment. I just keep it locked very rarely, but it opens up and it goes to your horse compartment. Um, anyways, uh, there's kind of a view from the bathroom looking, I hope it's not too blurry, up towards the front. I have the air conditioning and everything on right now you've got your kitchen sink and your microwave and all that i'll try and get another view there's a view from the couch the couch also folds out into a bed um big one too and that goes all the way to the back so you kind of see the look there now i'll do the outside here's kind of the view looking in to the trailer from outside i have like a that's the cover. Um, it's a Kiefer built trailer with a custom um, express living quarters. I was there when it was built. 
I actually watched it being built. So if you poke your head in, you can see there's a bathroom, a vent, sink, couch, bed, and all that good stuff. Okay, on the outside, like I said, you have 34 feet of trailer, um, drop downs on the butt side. Um, you have an awning, which is in perfect condition, and when it's out, it has a custom horse print um, thing, print on it. Um, there's a heater vent, fresh water connection, and two external power plugs. Um, I upgraded to an electric jack, so you don't have to do any cranking, and I upgraded to the larger propane tank, so you don't have to get propane as often. Brand new tires. Um, just had them put on about a month ago. Like I said, three horse, drop down windows, um, sliding rear on the tack side. I'm going to open the tack room. <laughs> In the tack room, I had to, I took out the rack that it came, saddle rack it came with because it kept coming on last. So I had a custom one built. You can put up to like four, probably six saddles in there. Uh, 50 gallon water tank underneath the saddle rack. Bridle holders, brush holders on that side. It does have a collapsible rear tack, so if you ever wanted to take it out, it just collapses right out. The horse compartment has um, lap style latches snap locks. Each horse has their own water tub that I put in there. Um, I put an extra layer of mats on the floor too. Um, anyway, and it's vented so you can see like up there, the, um, they're slats so it's not a solid wall so that way your horses have some room to breathe and they're not going to sweat too bad like in the summertime. I use the front horse stall for like hay and my generator and stuff like that. Um, I just replaced all the lights just because, so I wouldn't have any burnt out ones. You can see the walk-through door to the living quarters there in the front. On this side, you have drop-downs in the front, and you have storage on the side. So you have the drop-downs here, these little things like come down so like you can water your horses in the trailer stuff like that um, and two big storage compartments that open up on the side um, you have your escape door refrigerator vent hot water heater all that good stuff and that goes up to the other side um, everything works everything's in good shape so um, if you have any more questions, let me know.